Hello there guys and welcome to this new tutorial about Games Matrix. So guys, this is going to be part 3 of my tutorial series and in this part I'll be showing you some modification on the browser. Now, okay, basically what I have here is a go x, go and cancel and reload and a lot of buttons actually. So I'm going to basically change the design and make it more simpler. So I'm going as as you can see here I have deleted the code for the go button and I have deleted the go button itself and I will delete the refresh button too. I will make the search here bigger, move it up a little bit. That should work. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to rename this button actually. I'm going to rename button 3 to combo and as for the text I'm going to leave it empty now double click on the web controller here and go to the loading frame loading frame event and let's type in this code if my dot web, if sorry if web control 1 dot is navigating then combo dot text equals x now go to the loading frame complete oh hold on a second let's remove this code it's actually there's no need for it let's try now combo dot dot text equals r Let's try the code. Now basically if the browser is navigating, it's going to show an X. Once the browser completes the navigation, let's wait. It's supposed to be an R. And as you can see, it changed to an R. So, uh, uh, where's the button here? Let's code, let's add some code. If web control one dot, dot is navigating, then we need the reload code. This is actually the reload code as you can see. Oh sorry. If it was navigating then web control one dot stop. Dot stop. If web control one uh, if not web control one dot is navigating then paste in the reload code. This is the reload code actually, it's web control one dot reload between brackets ignore cache equals true. <clears throat> Let's try the code. Let's try the stop. I guess it stopped the navigation. Let's try to go to Google again. It navigates. So basically when I hit the stop button it's going to stop the navigation and let's try to hit the reload button and it reloaded the page. So basically if the web page was still loading and hit the X button it's going to cancel the loading. Okay, it's going to cancel the loading and that's that's it. So we need to make it better. Let's let's go here and type in picture box one dot visible equals false and parent dot text equals cancel maybe or navigate navigation stop let's try it now okay that's that's better as you can see there is no picture box and it says here navigation stop but something not correct happened as you can see if I hit the X button it stays X so what you need to do is to type in this me a uh, button a uh, combo actually dot text equals equals R sorry equals R. Let's actually hold on a second, there's something here. 
Okay. Now, if the if the web browser is navigating and I hit the button, it's going to stop the navigation. It's going to hide the picture box. It's going to set the tab name to navigation stop, and it's going to change the text to R. Let's write this code. Let's set the stop here, and as you can see, it says navigation stop and the picture box is R. Let's hit the reload. And as you can see, it does not reload anything because the navigation is actually stopped. So let's try Google. Let's stop the navigation and let's hit the R. As you can see, nothing happens. It, it, it does not reload the page. So we need to type in this code, which is web control one dot source equals new URI between brackets. Oh, sorry, text box. Okay, we need to add the navigation code. Now the navigation code can be found up here. This is the navigation code. Let's paste it right here. Okay, I guess this this should do it. Let's stop the navigation. Reload. And it reloads the page. Okay, so it worked. Basically, um, if the web if the web control was not navigating, then it's going to it's going to reload the page. But actually, it's not going to reload the page. It's going to reopen the page. Actually, it's going to check for everything in the text box. It's going to do the basic navigation code we typed in before. So I'm going to try to go to a different site, such as YouTube. The mic fell down. Okay, let's hold on a second. Let's try the, the let's try the reload code now. And as you can see, it opened uh, YouTube. Now, as you can see, if I reload it and directly hit the button again, it's going to stop the navigation. If I hit the reload button, the reload button here, it's supposed to load the page. Okay, the code works. Alright guys, so now let's see again what we did. When we saw the browser, we have here a button that changed from X to R. Basically, we have a reload and a refresh button in one button. We have a navigation and a search button, a search bar in just one text box. So we can search for whatever we need and we can navigate to whatever we want. We now have also a custom search engine as you can see the custom search engine is set to IMDB let's set it back to Google so anything I search here it's supposed to search on Google so basically we have here pretty much a cool web browser actually now we need to add some additional features like in the settings here we need to add the reset to default default now the default here Let's go to text box one dot text equals this is actually the this is actually the default code for the this is actually the default code for the home page and let's go to and um text box one dot text equals my dot settings dot home page and my dot settings dot search equals one and then and also text box two dot text equals nothing. Let's try the code now. Let's change some settings actually. Let's set the default. Okay, let's try to reload the page here.
okay something did not go right my dot settings dot custom search equals nothing message box done Okay, let's see the code right now. Settings. Let's change some settings here to set the home page to gangs productions dot dot com. Okay, something wrong actually happened here. It is in the home page button here. Oh, all right. Um, okay. We have a problem in the home page setting here. If the home page did not contain this, it's going to cause a crash. So this is what we can do actually. We can actually paste this code. If textbook dot contains the following. Okay, we can insert the the home page, the the custom search code we did before. It's supposed to work. Okay, I pasted it in the wrong section. I'm supposed to do it in the set code here. And then I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to paste this one. Let's try it now. Okay, so if I type in anything here, like gangs, anything, and then hit the set, it's going to say, please insert a valid URL. However, if I inserted HTTP www.gangsproductions.blogspot.com and it worked. Let's try the code. Okay, so the code works right now. Um, in, the f in, in the future tutorials, I'll be showing you how we can actually fix this code in, in a much easier code. And I'm going to show an ability, like you can do the, do the same thing, but without typing this. We can, we're going to make a code that automatically inserts the HTTP and the other stuff. So, if I hit the default, it sets everything back to default. Okay, one thing we need to add here is um, my dot C, a new home page issue we just found out. I've, I add the default button. I, made, I worked with the design to make the refresh and the close button as one button only. So this is pretty much it for the part 3 of this coding series. In um, future tutorials, I'll be showing you, and I will try actually to do is, whenever the browser is not loading, the text box size will, will be like this. When it, when it is loading, the text box size will be like this. I will try to do it, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe.